Welcome to a quick TweetDeck tutorial. To get to TweetDeck, all you have to do is go into your browser, type in tweetdeck.twitter.com. When you get there, it will ask you for your Twitter username and password. Type those in, and then that's all you have to do. Let me show you my TweetDeck, then I'll show you how to add some of the things that won't automatically show up on yours. So as you can see, there are several different columns instead of just the one column you normally see on your phone or on the regular twitter.com website. So this first column, this home one, is kind of what you're used to seeing. Although everything moves automatically, you don't have to click um, update it for the new tweaks, which is kind of nice. They just scroll in right as they come. And I have some other things. I have my faves. I have mentions my messages, some of my favorite Twitter chats, Utah Ed Chat, and Fourth Chat. I have a list of all the Hope Street Group fellows so I can easily see what they're up to without having to search through my other thousand people I follow. Dave Week, things I've liked, everything I've posted, and then scheduled tweets. So let me show you how to add some of those things. So let's kind of go along the side here. This top left button in blue with the quill and the plus is how you tweet. So if you click on that, it'll open this up. Another thing about TweetDeck that's nice is you can easily manage multiple accounts at once. So I can tweet from Downright Dave, or my classroom one that's Haran Happenings, or I could tweet from both at the same time if I wanted to. It'll send it from both. So all you have to do is type something here and then click Tweet. Some other cool things you can do is you can add images. It's not as easy to add GIFs as it is on your phone or the Twitter website, but if you download the GIF to your computer, you can click Add Images, click on a GIF, click Open, and there it is. No, no, don't do that. Don't unless you want that gift, then that's exactly what you would do. Um, well, with adding images, you can also schedule tweets, which comes in handy, especially if you're the one moderating a Twitter chat. It's nice to kind of have it all scheduled out so you can focus on responding and answering people's questions that are stuck and different things. So if I wanted to schedule this tweet, I click Schedule Tweet, scroll down, and I have a calendar, so maybe I want to do this tomorrow instead of today. And I want to do it when people are off work, so 6.45 p.m. Click off of it. And now instead of tweeting, it'll tweet the 27th of July at 6.45 p.m. This is great, especially if you've just gone to a conference or just gotten off Pinterest and you have 10 different amazing things you want to share and you don't want to blow up someone's feed with all these things all in a row. Although on Twitter that's not as big of a deal. People don't mind it as long as it's reasonable. Um, but instead of doing that, you could schedule those 10 things, one every hour, maybe one every day for the next week. And can really make things easy. So instead of having to get on Twitter every single day, you could tweet out, get on one day, put in some time, and then be set for the whole week, which is pretty cool. So if I really did want to tweet this, I would click Tweet and be done, but it doesn't make any sense right now, so let's just cancel this. So that's this top button. Then these other things are the different columns I have. So if I didn't want to scroll across, I could just click on it and it would take me there. If you want to add some of these columns, you click on this plus for add column. You have a lot of options. So kind of general ones are your home, user notifications. Those are probably all come standard. If you wanted to search for something like a hashtag or Hope Street Group Ed Chat or some other things I've done searches for, you just type that in, and then it adds this extra column to the end of my tweet deck. It's as easy as that. Now if I want to follow this chat, super easy. It's all here. You can scroll down, 
see what's been happening. As new stuff comes, it'll pop up automatically. There's this little button right here that you can click on. And you can add some different preferences. Remove it if you don't want it anymore. Clear all the old stuff so just the new stuff has. And if you'd like to move this column over, so maybe I want it all the way to the left, I just click these little arrows until it moves over to where I want. So the three or four things that I want to see every time I log on here, I want them all kind of together so that it's really easy for me to see them. And those things that I might just want to check every so often, catch up, I can leave there. Click this little button at the top of that column again, and there it is. So pretty easy to add that column. Right now there's still a ton of stuff going on. It may be kind of visually overwhelming until you get used to it. So what you could do is you could click on that button, remove every single column except for the particular chat that you're going to, and then you don't have all that other stuff distracting you around the outside. Um, i trying to think what other questions people had. I covered how to add GIFs, how to add columns. I don't know. I think that's it. If you guys think of anything else you'd like to know about TweetDeck or Twitter chats or anything else, just let me know and I can throw something else together. Hope this helped. If you have any questions, let me know.